Tom here from Orange Systems, and as if we didn't have enough reasons not to like printers and IT because of the nightmares of support that they cause, we have actually the print nightmare here on July 1st of 2021. Well, technically it started the other day and this is kind of a mess going on right now. And I say right now, cause it is July 1st, 8.55 AM. And we started all of our mitigation right away as soon as we found out about this the other day and are continuing to keep an eye on it. And I wanted to raise a little bit of awareness on the print nightmare in case you haven't heard of it or don't understand what happened. Essentially, a security researcher tweeted out a proof of concept exploit and explainer recently, and then quickly deleted it. This exploit and discussion contained an unpatched zero day in all, underline all here, supported and extended security update versions of Windows OS. Now, specifically, the proof of concept has only been shown for Windows server platforms, but uh, it's a matter of time before someone escalates this and starts exploiting the print spooler inside of your standard, you know, Windows 10 deployments. Uh, it like matter of time. That's all I got to say. But they deleted the proof, proof of concept to print nightmare to mitigate its mitigate this vulnerability, please update Windows to the latest version, which unfortunately doesn't fix it. Microsoft released a patch for the print spooler. Now, this is also where there's a little bit more confusion. Unfortunately, by this time, they'd already been forked on GitHub, the proof of concept, and then the latest June 2021 security patches do not actually fix the issue. This is where Microsoft made a mistake. They did patch the print spooler, but either A, they didn't patch it right, or it's just a different flaw. We're not really sure which. But the write-up tags the issues CVE 2021-1675, which Microsoft themselves changed. They upped the severity of it. So if you were first looking at this, and this is why this is a particularly confusing one, it had a low severity and did not show remote code execution. Then Microsoft said, oops, I guess it's worse than we thought. Now it does include all versions of Windows and remote code execution. And that's the part that's really why you have to work on mitigating it, because let's talk about what happens here. The flaw is in the RPC add print driver, a legit function designed to allow remote printing scenarios and driver installation. The function is designed to allow users SE load driver privilege by default administrators and print operators to add drivers to a remote print spooler. So it's a legit function that is supposed to allow you to have print drivers added to make your life easier with printers. Unfortunately, it also has a logic flaw where the remotely connecting party can specify parameters which invalidate the authentication and, or in English, any authenticated user can remotely add print drivers to Windows. You don't need to be an administrator. Uh, essentially, what this allows them to do is escalate up. So you can have any low level privileged person, someone just working help desk with not really any access on the network other than a active domain credential. Then from there, they can escalate that privilege and become the domain admin. This is obviously a huge problem. Now, ways to mitigate this is turn off print spooler. But in case you're wondering, yes, that breaks print services. So it, it's one of those, we've turned it off anywhere that clients don't need print services or looked at ways to mitigate it by not having print servers there and moving them somewhere else. There's, this is a mess, we'll just say that. Because if you're going, this sounds like a headache, Tom. Oh yes, it's a headache. Now, where the real, flaw comes in and what a big problem in this world is, is we know that there's always threat actors that frequently have low level access, but they can't get further. They're stuck. This is going to allow an opportunity for any threat actor that may already be in a system. Obviously, if there's no threat actor system, it's only a risk if some user, you know, escalates the privileges, but you can kind of see where this is a big deal. I don't think this is being overblown at all. Now, right now being real time updated, I will leave a link to this right here, which is the post from Huntress Labs. They have a breakdown, some mitigation, some, some discussion over here on Reddit, even their post over here, which I'll be linking to all of this on the Reddit, on the blog over here at Huntress refers back over to Reddit. So they have the mitigations. There's a few more things you can do. There's a few parameters you can put on there. There's actively working on and maybe even by the time this video you know gets to you you've already mitigated or there's better mitigations that are available right now so keep an eye on it links will be right down below where you can learn more about this uh big shout out to kevin bowman aka gossy dog uh over here on twitter who is the author of this and is you know real-time dropping updates for this. Also, he is the author right here at Double Pulsar that wrote this write-up that I was reading from. Big shout out to the team over at Huntress Labs for their work on this. And of course, John Hammond. I 
he has a video and posted over on Huntress that he has a great YouTube channel. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, but they do have a proof or concept if you want to actually see this in action, how it does a privilege escalation. That is included in this Reddit post right here. So you can uh, try it out for yourself. And yeah, this uh, be scared. And this uh, video is pretty short here, but it walks you through in three minutes, going from three minutes to not being a domain admin to John having domain admin on this. So um, yeah, we'll go ahead and jump to the end. So you don't have to wait the whole time, but of course I'll link in there, but ah, uh, yes. CD users, admin, illustrator, and all right, that that uh, the short little video, John gets admin on there, so pretty scary. And uh, I'll leave links. I'll leave links to all this below. Get patching, get mitigating. Well, patches aren't available, so patching may be available when you watch this video, but if not, get mitigating. All right, and thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. To hire a share project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click on the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there is a Join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the descriptions of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thank you again, and we look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, check out some of our other videos.